Also breaking news this morning, Russia's invasion of Ukraine officially now underway. And President Biden says the U.S. will respond in a united and decisive way. Explosions were seen and heard across the country overnight. Ukraine's president this morning tweeted, the world is with us. President Vladimir Zelensky says he spoke this morning with world leaders, including President Biden, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, and the German Chancellor, and the presidents of both France and Poland. Head TV's Krista Frost is following updates on this throughout uh, the world and for us this morning. Krista, what are you hearing right now? Well, we're hearing actually new information. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO, members are meeting an emergency session following these attacks that we're seeing. Now, some of the member countries are are supplying arms, ammunition, and other equipment to Ukraine, but it is important to note that NATO as an organization will not launch any military action. So here is a look at some of the airstrikes Ukrainians, they woke up to. Ukraine's president now saying authorities there will hand weapons to all those willing to defend the country. Now take a look at this flight radar. Those little yellow planes are civilian planes. You'll also notice a big empty airspace over Ukraine and Russian border regions. Now Euro control manages air traffic across Europe and they decided to divert commercial planes from the area just hours before Ru Russia launched invasion. Now a European Union representative responding to these attacks. Among the darkest hour for Europe since the end of World War II. A major nuclear power has attacked a neighbor country and is threatening reprisals of any other states that may come to its rescue. So other leaders across the world are responding to this. Russian President Putin warned others that any attempt to interfere would lead to consequences you've never seen in history. That's actually a quote. And hear what President Biden is saying in response to that. That's just about 30 minutes away. Krista, thank you. It's likely the president will speak on this later today. We will, of course, bring that update and other updates to you on the 10TV News app.